what is up guys we're back out here again it is labor day i think uh i think it's labor day not memorial day right correct me if i'm wrong well anyhow it is sunday so there is a little boat traffic out here because of the holiday weekend uh we're gonna go to our bait spot to see if we can get any bait i got some wise guy tackle lures so i'll leave the link right over here for you guys and we're gonna see if we can get some snooker redfish or something in this boat traffic. absolutely piss poor this weekend i mean i thought last weekend when chris was here the water quality was bad i mean this is like literally like the darkest snapple tea that you've ever seen uh i'll show a picture of how these flats normally look i mean just look around right now it's absolutely disgusting i think it's a mix of it because it's been raining and also they release water out of lake okeechobee when the water levels get too high but it absolutely destroys this beautiful river the caloosahatchee is such a fragile ecosystem you have all this nasty runoff water from lake okeechobee that's released and they only release it on this end of the state so it all flows out the caloosahatchee uh, blue-green algae forms in the canals in Fort Myers and Cape Coral and then once it mixes in with the salt water more then it sparks the red tide so I'm just praying that this red tide doesn't start happening again this year it's the last thing we need Ugh, I just can't stand it I did happen to get one lonely Mahara <laughs> there he was right there so I'm gonna chuck this Mahara over by that seawall, I don't know if you really see it, it's broken up seawall that I brought my buddy last weekend. Typically there's snook and redfish around it, but if I was a fish, I wouldn't want to be in this stuff. So we're gonna live on that guy. And then maybe in the evening, we'll come back out here or stay in the creek, maybe toss around some wise guy tackle lures. And then as it gets a little darker, maybe throw a top water out there. So I'm not expecting much this weekend really. All right, well, we got this Mahar on the hook. We're gonna toss him over that by over. Uh... <laughs> well, we got this Mahar on the hook. We're gonna toss him over by that broken up seawall and it's gonna take a prayer really to get a, catch a fish in these conditions today. See what happens. All right, guys, I am back out here. I literally just ran out of gas in my main engine. So it's gonna be my trolling motor for here on out. So we're gonna flip around some of these mangroves and docks and see if we can pull off a snook. All right, let's get them. Just hooked up. Nice fish. Yeah. Real nice fish. On the wise guy tackle. Five inch Bambino Moonstone. engine dude he's a fighter <laughs> he's not huge but he's a fighter yeah something like that 
All right, there he is. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Can't let a Jersey boy out fishing now. We're gonna get a picture of this bad girl. Thank you. All right, we're gonna re release this girl, get her back in the water. Had her out of the water for a minute, so gonna let her rest for a second. Shake the lactic acid out of her. There she goes. Nice. That was on my wise guy tackle, five inch moonstone. Links will be in the description. Just switched up to this wrapless skitter walk top water. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, so I don't know how much time I have. There is some clouds inbound. We're gonna chuck this toss uh, top water around for a little bit and see what happens. Oh my god, dude. Man, just missed that fish on the top water. Got myself all jammed up. What is going on? Alright, all right, let's try it again. Right along that piling. Set the hook way too soon. All right, guys, just finished up for the evening. That was pretty cool catching that nice slot size snook on a wise guy tackle five inch great bambino moonstone color. You now I tossed around top water for a little bit. I did get one explosion. I'm sure you just saw that before the outro here. So that was pretty cool to see. But anyhow, I like to give a few shout outs. My first shout out is to Bull Bay Rods. These awesome seven, six foot sniper rods, eight to 17 pound. They work great for snook fishing, matched up with the Stratic 4000 FL. You cannot beat that combo. You can always come see me, Eric, down at Rose Marina, 951 Bald Eagle Drive, Marco on Florida, for this exact setup. Great for tossing lures, even live bait fishing I've used it for. My next shout out is to Wise Guy Tackle. Let me grab it for supplying me with these amazing lures. This is the lure that I caught that slot size snook on. Great Bambino, five inch moonstone color. Is using a six app Berkeley EWG weedless hook, weighted weedless hook. A big shout out to Wise Guy Tackle. Thank you so much. Their lures always work fantastic. My next shout out is to Dead Fish Hook for supplying me with all this awesome attire. These SPF shirts that protect you in that Florida sun. Those UV rays are pretty harsh out here, so you always have to wear your protective gear like these SPF shirts. And then also supplied me with this awesome snook hat. Go to www.deadfishhook.com and you can use my promo code at checkout. Remember, it's a one-time 10% off your final purchase. Just type in Jersey NFL in all lowercase. I'll put the description right here what the promo code is and the website. So it would be amazing if you guys go over, support some local guys here in Florida that make these amazing shirts. And until we meet again, we'll see you on the next one.